Soto yaba, reke tali ayaga da boku ya, reke taya da ba ya ba ba ba, reka pala bala bala boko so, reke pa ya ka pa ye ke ta, reke de ka pala gudo ko pali la, reke de ke te reke poto ya, reke pa ya ka pudo ko to ko pa, reke de ke te ke pali na kata ya, reke poko to ko pa la ga la boto, la bende ke te zi ke te ne mo shuto, reka pa ya ga da boto to to ya, ale handa ya da ya ba la. Da boko to ya ba, jete tara boku de boko ta ya ya. Yeda la 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 Santa ya ba. Let us sage be over. Let us sage be over. Siege of barrenness be over. Siege of limitation be over. Siege of barrenness be over. Siege of late marriages be over. Let us siege of loneliness be over. Let us siege of that miscarriage be over. That job let that sickness let it be over. That setback and rejection let it be over in your life and your family I pray for every one of us in this new month it shall be your month testimony God's protection and signs and wonders the Lord will enter a covenant of fruitfulness with you tonight. This is what the Lord led it in my heart in the book of Genesis chapter 15. The Bible said, after these days, Genesis 15 from 1, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision saying, do not be afraid, Abraham, I am your shield and your exceedingly great reward. But Abraham said, Lord, listen, Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me? Seeing I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born to my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your head. And the Bible said, then he took him outside and said, look toward heaven and count the stars. If you are able to number them, and he shall, and he said to him, no, shall your, so shall your descendant be. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. And he believed in the Lord, and it was counted for him for righteousness. Abraham made a that was the day God make a covenant with Abraham. Abraham was complaining of his childlessness. I don't know the complaint you have in your heart. But the Bible said here, God brought Abraham out and entered a covenant with him. He said, look, can you count the stars of the heaven? He said, because you cannot count it, so shall your descendant be. The Bible says something. And he believed in the Lord. And he accounted it to him as righteousness. I want you to believe God in this moment. I want you to believe the almighty God in this month of October. The Bible said that Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. Abraham believed God. And it was accounted to him for righteousness. I pray that tonight, every covenant working against your life is nullified by the blood of Jesus. Let a new covenant, let a new covenant be erected for you. A new covenant of pregnancy, fruitfulness, marital favor, divine healing, a new covenant of congratulation and testimonies, a new covenant of miracle jaws, a new covenant of congratulation, save delivery. Let a new covenant be made today. And I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus. In this month of October, starting from today being the first to the end of the month of October, the Lord will keep you.